Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how to deploy an Express API to Firebase. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here I have a very basic Express API where I just have two endpoints. One is a get request and the other is a post request. And I'm using certain packages that you might use a lot when you're dealing with Express APIs like course and helmet. So course is for just having some course configuration and helmet is just to add certain headers. And here I'm using kind of like a controller format where we have a control user controller where we have two functions for those to, for that uh, API routes like get user is just for that get request, register user for registering the user. We are not having any database here because the main purpose of this video is to show, show you like how we can this, uh, deploy this uh, API to Firebase as a function. Okay, so it's very like a basic app. So we have an SRC folder, node modules, and some other folders. Of course, when you add database, you might have models. If you're using MongoDB or SQL, SQLite, or let's say you're using uh, MongoDB database, then you might have model in that. So if you're deploying database, then you might need a different server for that. And also, if you're using Firebase database, like a uh, Firebase Firestore, then that should be fine. But in case if you are using different database, then you need to choose your database server accordingly. So how we can have this thing or these two API routes or our API deployed on Firebase? To begin with, first thing we need is Firebase CLI. So I was just testing this with Postman. So if I uh, just before we go to CLI, so get request that works fine. Post request we should get the register user ID. That's great. Now Firebase CLI or Firebase tools will help you to deploy your set of functions or your website on Firebase using your terminal. So we just need to make sure that this package is installed globally. So you can install this package using npm install g that means for global. And that means you can access the Firebase CLI or Firebase commands from anywhere in your terminal. So we just need to make sure it's installed globally and Firebase tools. Next, of course, we need to have a Firebase account. Of course, if you have a Gmail account, then you will have a Firebase account and then you need to create an app over there. So once you create a Firebase app, which is in this case, it's my Nuxt app. Uh, and then you need to uh, enable the hosting and functions. So for functions, uh, if I am correct, uh, you need to be on Blaze plan. But let me know in the comment section if anyone is using functions on Spark because I tried to use it. It was giving me some errors. So I have to upgrade to Blaze plan and then I can use functions now. So I already have one function deployed over there, which is for my next website. Uh, but what if we want to add another function over, in this case, our Express API function. So, so let's begin from here. Now, what we need to do first is, now I have Firebase tools already installed. So I'll just skip that part of installing uh, Firebase CLI or Firebase tools. So what we need to do now is just type a command here, Firebase in it. Uh, just need to make sure, yeah, over there and then it will ask us certain questions so i'll tell you what uh, what we have to answer for that so this will take a bit of time so i'll just skip to the part of the video where it asks questions all right so here it is asking that you are about to initialize a firebase project in this directory proceed of course we are ready to go so why and then it will ask us what or what configuration we are asking for so we can if we are deploying a website then we have the hosting configuration but if you are just deploying the functions so we can just select the functions from here. So select on Windows, I'm using spacebar. So we just need to hit spacebar and enter. And then hit enter. Yes, I want to use an existing project. I have already logged in with my Firebase Gmail account. So you just need to make sure you use Firebase login and select the correct account when you uh, want to use Firebase tool. So in this case, I'm using my this Gmail account. So make sure you're also using your correct Gmail account. If you aren't using it, then type Firebase logout and it will take you out of your current login settings and ask you to log in again when you type Firebase login. In this case, my account is right. So I'll be just using an existing project and then it will ask me some options. There's my project and then function setup. Now it will ask me whether my function is written in TypeScript or JavaScript. It's a simple JavaScript function. So I'll just say JavaScript. Then it will ask me, do I want to use ESLint to catch probable bugs any in post style for now i'll just select no then it is asking me uh it has written some package.json index.js and, and git ignores so if i go to my folder here you'll see it has created a functions folder inside that it has added certain files 
So for now, I'm going to say no. I'll tell you why we are going to say no for to install these dependencies. And then it will say, okay, everything is set. Now, the main things here is if you're deploying a function on Firebase, you'll get this Firebase.json and Firebase RC just saying like, what's the project name or project ID. And here it will give you things like, okay, what are you, what's your source? So in this case, functions folder has our function code. But of course, in our case, we have our code inside this SRC folder. So what we are going to do is we will for now delete this functions folder. But before we delete it, let's see in package.json what packages it is asking us to install. And also we need to follow certain things here. So first thing, engines. Now, in my case, I'm using node 16. So in my package.json, I have added that engines line over here. Also, if I go back to functions package.json, there it is asking me to have this main when pointing towards the index.js. Index .js. In my case, it's inside the src folder. So I have written like main, which is pointing to src's index.js because of course, we want our express app to be deployed as a function and not something else. So our index.js, it has that express app. And when I say app, I'm referring to this app over here. And of course, it's nothing but our API again. Now, if I go back to package.json just to make sure everything is right, well, everything is all good. So we can now deploy this. If you want to run it locally, just to make sure everything works fine, there are certain commands here, which you, can, you, you could have a look at and also have them used to make a test run on, on your local machine. But, uh, I'm, straight, I'm going to straight away deploy this. So what we need to do now is, for now, uh, going back to package, we need to also install these two things, Firebase functions and Firebase admin. So what I'm going to do in my terminal here, I'm going to write npm install Firebase functions. Uh, and the other one was Firebase admin. So these are Node.js packages. What we need to do is we can simply delete this functions folder like this. Perfect. Now we will go back to our firebase.json and here we need to make certain changes. The first change we need to make is we need to tell Firebase when you deploy things where you should find our code. You put SRC and then uh, you just put SRC like this. Sorry, you don't need to provide index.js. It will or else it will just take index.js because it knows index.js has a function. Like by default, the files are named index.js. So in this case, it will know it has to look for index.js. And also we need to make sure that this controllers file go uh, to the Firebase function when it deploys, because if it doesn't go, then when we import it, it will just uh, like, uh, it will be confused like where sh they should be imported from. So we just need to make sure that everything in the SRC folder goes to Firebase. Fine, so we say here we want SRC folder, code base for default. And when we push certain files, we just need to make sure we ignore these folders and files because of course they are just for our purposes. So once that is done, next thing we need to do is go back over here and type the command npm run deploy. Now, before you type this command npm run deploy, in your package.json, you need to add this command over here. So in this case, I'm saying Firebase. So in, inside my scripts, package.json scripts, here I'm saying deploy. Firebase because we have a Firebase CLI already installed so we can use Firebase command we are saying to deploy and we are asking to deploy only functions and here I'm going to give name to my function I'm going to call it app or API let's call it API and the other thing we need to be careful of is inside our index.js we need to add a line which I have commented over here now what we are telling here is we are making a named export and we are saying first we are importing functions from Firebase uh, functions. So here I'm going to say functions. And then we are saying, okay, from the functions, we want the HTTPS. And from the HTTPS, we are saying on request. Now, what do we need to do here? Here we are saying that whenever there's a request on our function, run this app instance that we have created, which is this express app instance. So because of course, these functions are nothing but some web URLs. So whenever there's a request on that URL, just run that function as this express app. In simple words, this is all this line is telling. Now let's try to deploy it. So here I'm going to say npm run deploy, hit enter. So 
back again over here because we have our package.json outside so we just need to say deploy this as a root folder even though we have that src folder so in this case we just do npm run deploy all right so our function has been deployed successfully now we were getting uh, some error here before the reason being we were asking to get our src folder deployed but in that src folder we didn't have package.json because our package.json has extra settings like the node engine that we are asking it to uh, use and also the main file so in this case what we need to do is we have to deploy our entire root folder or all the folder where we have our package.json in this case our entire project folder and then we can tell firebase what files to ignore like in node modules dot get and other files well that's all good now let's give, go to our in my console and let's see if the function is deployed so i'll give it a refresh and there we go moment of truth there we go so we have our function here now next thing is testing it out and now if we put that url over here let's try a get request first over here so we just need to put it over here like this uh, and let's make it a get request now here we make a get request everything works that's great now let's try with a post request so if i go over here let's make a post request with uh the same url which is pointing to user but just passing the details and there we go our post request also works great there might be a potential problem in that case you just need to set the permission so you don't you don't you cannot set permissions from here but you have to set it through google cloud platform so here you will see that this is the next app project that we have and there we have deployed a recently one function so what we need to do here is we need to go okay so it's a different function okay let's try here type a for let's type functions and then we have uh well, functions and then we have our api function now here currently we are allowing unauthenticated users as well but if you want to keep it like specifically for this is certain vpn or certain resources or you when you want to have certain set of security then in that case you can change the privacy functions here so you just need to select this function from here like this and then permissions and then you can put certain permissions on that so well that's all in this video so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also please do share it with your network if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye